Welcome to C++ Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about default arguments for functions. Let's jump into the coding and see how we will implement default arguments inside functions. We open code blocks, we create a new empty file, we save the file and we will call this file default arguments dot c plus plus file dot cpp file and we're going to save this file and we will start off again by including our standard input and output library and we call that in c plus plus io stream we're going to create our main function And we're going to say return zero. So we're going to create a function called square. First of all, in our main function, well, before we get input from the user, we always need to say using name space std so that we can use the shorthand. We're going to create the input variable called input. We're going to ask the user to input a number and we're going to use C in. I always like to keep these smaller than and bigger than signs underneath each other. And we're going to say input. So we're capturing the input from the user. So the user is going to provide us with some input. And then we're going to give the square. So we're going to say the square of input is, and we're going to call the square function. And our square function will receive input as our parameter. So we've got now an input variable. We asked the user for input. We captured the input and now we want to tell the user the square of the number is this. So we need to go and create a function prototype. So we will say in square and we will receive a integer as a parameter. We need to then go down and create this function. So after the main function we will say return n times n. In the previous lesson we also learned that you can make this a inline function because it's a very small function but we're just going to keep it as is for the moment. Now in this um, function we will receive n we will have an input that's the parameter that's going to be sent to n and we will be able to do the calculation to determine the square of that input and we will be able to display it now the question is we want to add default arguments to our parameters in the case that the user don't supply or the function call don't supply a parameter. So what we will do is, I will do the following first. I'm going to run the same line before I get the input from the user. So I'm going to add just a new line there, or end line. So in the beginning, I'm going to say the square of the square of um, the square of, and then there's no input, no input is this. Just to indicate that we don't have a parameter in this function call. 
So let's quickly run this. And I'm just going to comment this out so that you can see what's the idea of the first part of the program. So if I run this program, I will say 5 and the square of 5 is 25. But if I add this line, we don't have input yet from the user. So how would we call the square function without an actual parameter that we can supply to this function? So if we don't supply a parameter, this will give us a error because there is no parameter indicated there. So if we go to the logs, you would see error, too few arguments to function in square int. So this is a problem. So how do we overcome this by using default arguments? And it's actually quite easy in C++. All that we need to do is we can say n, int n is equal to 1. And if we run it now, you will say C in the command prompt that the square of no input is 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. And now you can ask for input and the square of 5 is 25. So what you can actually do is you can add default arguments to your parameters. And this will help for in the case that there is a function call without actual parameters specified. Now if there's no parameters specified and no default arguments, this will result in an error. But now we can overcome that error and make sure that this function will always be called even if there's no parameter by using default arguments in our parameter in the function. So that is default arguments. You can choose whatever value you want. You can use a zero, you can use a two. If we use a two, the square of um, the function would be four as you can see because the default argument is two and we can always add zero as well because there's no input we can't actually calculate the square so the square of no um, parameter would be obviously zero so if i build and run this and i bring this up the square of no input is zero but this without the default arguments will not be able to actually run. So the default arguments enable us to call the square function even if there is no parameter. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.